Science, by definition, is an open-ended approach to understand how the world works by observation, experimentation, and modeling. But underlining this human process is our ability to be wrong, to be corrected, and to change our views over time. As such, science invites contravening ideas that can compete with each other. This allows for its progressive nature, since we can then determine which hypothesis better describes a given phenomenon and its range of behavior. While Francis Bacon, 1561 to 1626, is often regarded as the first Western thinker to properly codify what is commonly known today as the scientific method, it may come as a surprise to learn that Jain philosophy, which dates back to before the 6th century BCE, has three core beliefs that are contributive and elemental for any budding scientist. Anikantavada, Siadvada, and Ahimsa. The first concept, Anikantavada, which means many-sidedness, states that truth, like an ocean, has varying features and that our approaches to understand reality are inevitably partial or limited. Thus, whatever stance or position we take must be bracketed, keeping in mind that others may have perceived what we ourselves have not. It engenders an openness to listen to other points of view and seriously take them into consideration. The second concept, Siadvada, is generally translated to mean that all final appraisements or judgments are tentative, since what is theoretically proffered is understood to be potentially uncertain, as in it may be, or perhaps could be, or let's wait and see. As in the famous parable of the blind men and an elephant, each believes that what they touch reveals the true nature of the animal. But each man, by their limited feeling, only grasp a small part of the totality of the animal. Likewise, humans in their quest for knowledge always come up short and thus should hold back on any final adjudication, lest they, like the blind man, confuse a trunk for an entire head, or a twig for a tree, or a wave for an ocean. The third concept, ahimsa, which literally translated means not to injure or harm, is the most widely known Jain ideal and has far-reaching implications. While it is generally viewed as not hurting other sentient beings, ahimsa also applies to how we treat the thoughts and ideas of others. Do we, in sharing our ideas, give wide berth to what others believe, and do we engage with them in a respectful and considered fashion? These three core concepts of Jainism, I would suggest, are also, at least to some measure, part and parcel of a progressive scientific mind. First, science is predicated to a large degree on tolerating and encouraging multiple points of view, which can be tested over time, Anikantavada. Second, science is never absolute, since any theory, even if well-established for centuries, such as Newton's law of gravity, can be changed, corrected, and augmented by new discoveries and new information, such as Einstein's general theory of relativity. It is a systematic process, which at its center is always tentative and potentially uncertain. Siadvada. And third, for any scientific endeavor to flourish, it must treat alternative concepts and speculations without prejudice and give sufficient latitude so that new ideas can be properly tested and not dismissed prematurely. 
In other words, while many hypotheses may indeed be rejected for lack of convincing evidence, respect and toleration, ahimsa, must be accorded lest science devolve into the cesspool of dogmatism. In this presentation, we will be taking a Jainist approach to the current study of consciousness, which far too often has been parochialized into various warring camps. Our goal is to understand how and why self-awareness evolved and see what respective strengths and weaknesses various theories hold. Furthermore, following the lead of Niels Bohr, the renowned Nobel Prize winning physicist from Denmark, we want to see how the concept of complementarity reveal one part only to conceal another, and vice versa, can also be applied to different theories on consciousness, and why the field is perhaps trapped in a Heisenberg-like uncertainty conundrum.